Welcome to NP Golf. Today we're going to be looking at whether we should have the flag in or out when we're putting. So, first thing we look at is data, statistics, scientific stuff, and then we'll look at the more subjective human side of putting as well with the flag stick in or out. First thing to know, any putt that goes one, two and a half, two and a half feet or less, and is in the middle, will go in. See, it wasn't in the middle. <laughs> so any putt that goes two and a half feet or less and hits the middle, will go in. With the flag stick or without the flag stick? Obviously a really important thing to know is if you don't, fact number two is if you don't get it to the hole, it doesn't go in. So that's the reason why we have to always try to get two and a half foot by, because then it always goes in with the flag in or flag out, and you can always do a, 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 an easy shot to put it back in. That's the statistics there, I think. <laughs> what, I, what I wanted to do today was look at what happens with the putt and see the effect of having the flag in. I always play with the flag in. So first thing, this has just been cut. It's a beautifully cut hole. You can see the ball fits in there perfectly. Fits in there perfectly. Fits in there. No. And more or less fits in there. Okay, so you can see that here, it's actually being stopped. Dave Pout says that even though it's like this, the ball will still get spin to put it back into the hole. I'm not so sure, no, but maybe if it's a bit like that, you might want to put it out. Obviously, if it's pushed back, that makes it a lot easier because it definitely will go up the, hole, up the stick and still probably go in. I wanted to test to see what it was like. Okay, so we're going to try some different putts and see the effect of if we hit the middle, the side, just to see if we get any anomalies. So this is probably about a four or five footer uphill. We get the edge. Went in. Let's get the right edge where there's definitely less, it leans over the flag stick. Went in. Well, you've got to hit the hole. <laughs> Didn't hit enough of the hole. Perfect. So no difference there. Okay, so this is a, a slightly downhill putt with uh, going from right to left. So this is probably the hardest shot to hit because you have to hit the right pace, the right line, and then probably the smallest part of the ball as it, as it hole as it goes in. There's one that missed, didn't get enough of the hole, but it wasn't the flag stick. That one went in, flag sticks out of the way, but it still went in. Perfect to the flag stick. Perfect to the flag stick. And missed the hole. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so for me, I would still recommend when I have like a putt that goes in like this, from right to left with quite a, um, a fall on it, on the ball, I would recommend that we leave it in because then it, I, I kind of feel this is a backstop on it to stop it as I've only got a little bit of a, a shot to hit and it's probably going to fall quite hard out the hole. So that to me is like a backstop. That's why I use that. In this one, I would definitely use uh, the flag in because it's going to, it's quite a, it's quite a drop downhill and, and we're probably going to go by the flag stick probably five, six foot or more maybe. So this acts as a backstop for me. Let's see. Ah, yeah, missed. Touched the hole, missed, but it wasn't the flag stick. Missed again, you see, it wasn't the flag stick. It didn't touch the flag stick. Missed again. Touched the flag stick, it still went in. It stopped it a bit. Mm -hmm. Didn't touch the flag stick. Okay, so. 
psychological aspect, the human aspect. Why do I keep the flag stick in? So for me, you can see, first thing is the wind. It gives me noise and I know whether the wind's forward with me or against me, that makes a difference. I've also got a target, a smaller target than the hole, so I can aim at that. And I also have this confidence, a bit like in basketball for all you Americans, like to have the backstop, so that acts as a backstop for me. The only thing I would take into consideration is obviously if it really is against me, although Dave Pout says that's okay, I'd be a little bit against doing that. Uh, imagine if it was like that when the hill's going there, so I'd take it out then. Or if they're stiff, some of them are very stiff or very thick. So according to Deschambeau, and he's right, this, this would cushion the ball and so it doesn't bounce out as much. But some are very hard and they might even bounce out from my, especially my hard balls, unless you've got a soft ball. So the size of the flag stick and whether it cushions the ball a bit more no, is important. So what do I do? So generally I always leave it in unless someone takes it out for their putts. If they're taken out for their putts, then I leave it out and my target is now the hole, the small part of the hole, like the middle or the right or the left of the hole, depending on the, what I want to do. So I always make sure that, I, and I don't ask them to put it back in because now my, I can see why some people don't like then the flagstick because now my object is this and this like feels like it's getting in the way. So I understand that. So if someone's asked me to take it, if it's already out, I leave it out unless it's a long putt and then I will ask someone to put it back in then because then I've got the visual of seeing where it is. And I just feel more confident that if it does go by too far, it hits this, it will slow it down. But otherwise I always keep it in like Fitzpatrick but it really is a mental thing, I think. No? So you have like, for example, extremes. So you have um, Phil Mickelson. So from 80 meters, from a, a pitch from 80 meters, he takes it out. You have Matt Fitzpatrick that has it in all the time, wherever it is, even if it's only like one foot away, he'll leave it in. And that was because well, I think one day he played really well with it in and he just mentally is happy with that. And then you have other people that probably take it like, like DeChambeau, that if it's a long putt, we'll leave it in. But if it's a short putt, he'll t or medium putt, he'll take it out. And then a lot of people take it out almost all the time, even if they're off the green. So I think it's just got to be something that you're happy with, that you're confident with, and you feel happy with, that you're confident with, and you feel that it's going to help your game. Because if you feel that it hinders your game, so people see this in and they think, oh, the, the hole's smaller, well, there's no point in even trying to play with it in, no? The only thing I would say is have a go, practice it with, it with it in. A lot of people when they're playing by themselves play with it in or like now I've just seen people playing that's not a match and they play with it in and it makes it a lot quicker. The whole round goes quicker, doesn't it? Rather than it's kind of like taking it out and putting it back in at the end. So that's the thing. A little rule to know is that if it does stay like that, you can take it out. You don't need to do, you don't need to do that to knock it down put a link to the articles I found about this and a good video as well and you can see the statistics yourselves okay it's down in the description if you've enjoyed the video please put a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed I'll see you in the next one bye